Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Hey guys, I'm really excited. Yesterday in Territory War, Territory War is always fun, but it is super fun if at the very end of the Territory War, you open your little boxes that you get for capturing the Territory War and you get a really nice sigil. Yesterday I got a really nice sigil, so it's confirmed you can get orange sigils from those free boxes. Also, we're going to talk about fire fins. A fire fin just dropped for me two days ago. We'll talk about fire fins and how they make your sigil stronger. And we're also going to talk about the new Divine Valley and uh, the changes that has happened to make Divine Valley even more powerful and needed this update. Okay, guys? So, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. One random comment will be chosen February 15, 2020 to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card. So I am going into Divine Valley. We are doing Divine Valley. There is something that is brand new in this update. You do want to do Divine Valley three or four times a day if possible because you get hero orders not just for your first Divine Valley. You get it for all the divine valleys and until you have 2000 hero orders now that is really good because a sacred book you can actually get a sacred book for 1400 hero, hero orders so you can basically get one and a half sacred books for free every day from divine valley so i definitely do that now i'm just showing you that i did get my arkasar sigil not from the auction because the one that is in an auction is actually a mage one it has more magical properties and that one went to naomi naomi got that one i got mine from a free box and this makes it so that even though no one challenges you like most of the time no one challenges our arkansas city and if you don't attack and crush the crystal of the enemy base, you still keep Arkansas City. However, you don't get that box at the end of that battle. So it's very important that you do defeat the enemy crystal even if no one's defending. I know you get to keep the city without destroying the crystal, but you don't get that box. If you get that box, there is a chance that you can get a yellow or an orange sigil so you know if you do that every week one day you will get lucky so definitely definitely do do territory wars and hopefully uh good luck hope everyone gets a nice yellow or orange sigil and afterwards you do have to go do divine valley and level it up okay so you get war mind or walmart and basically if you get like a yellow sigil you can get up to 200 war mind which can make your sigil 200 percent stronger so an orange sigil gets 300 war mind which makes it so that you can have up to 300 percent stronger your sigil so that is why you really want to try to focus get a nice yellow or orange sigil now, for most barbarians, for most tanks and tigers, you do want to be in tiger form, okay? You do want to be in tiger form for Divine Valley, for Guild League, for Territory Wars. You're going to definitely want to be in tiger form because you're just so much stronger that way. But in order to level up your sigil, you're going to have to temporarily switch to humanoid form so that you can do some damage. Because assist gets you one war mind. And that makes your sigil 1% stronger. And up to 300 if you have an orange sigil. Up to 200 if you have a yellow sigil. And I think purple is 100. So you do want to, as you are leveling up your sigil, you want to change the humanoid form just temporarily so you can get some kills. And we're not, we're not winning many Divine Valleys, but... My sigil is getting a bit stronger. It's up to 28 Warmind. 
So you see all those little green stats on the side? That means it is 28% of the base stat. So like my base stat for HP gain, I think was 14%. So it can actually be up to 300% stronger, 14%. So it'd be like 60% more HP. Now that is 60% more HP of your base, your character stats. It's not, it's not 60% more HP of the sigil. Similarly, the percent physical attack on my sigil is of my character's base attack. It's not of the sigil. Now, if you don't, if your guild doesn't have Arcus or doesn't have either blades, if the guild doesn't get them, they will be available the next day on World Auction. So be sure to check those out. I do find that either blade and Arcus or sigils are a little bit stronger. So keep an eye out for those. Now we're here at Fire Fins, and Fire Fins is a brand new item that just came out with this update. You do get them from Dusk Dungeons. You get them from Dusk Original as well as Dusk Twilight True. These fire fins are really good. Really good if you have a really good sigil. But even if you don't have a really good sigil, it does increase the war mind of your character per se because it doesn't matter which sigil you have equipped. If, if you equip another sigil that extra war mine that you got from the fire fin will be transferred to any sigil that you get in the future which is nice you do get these from dust twilight true and original so be sure to try to get do every dusk original and every dust twilight true you can possibly get it's just these things are really nice it's a nice new drop and currently on this on this my server they're going for about 550 up to 700k gold so it is a very nice item to get if you do get one of these fire fins and if you have a purple sigil or a blue sigil i mean you should try to aim for a purple sigil they aren't that hard to get i do recommend that you sell the fire fins because this way you can acquire better gear or so that you can do more dust twilight trues and more dusk originals just just go ahead and sell the fire fins because you won't be getting that much more stats if you're holding a purple sigil now if you have a yellow or a orange sigil then go ahead you might just want to use the fire fins they will give you uh, more stats because if you look at the sigils the higher the grade the sigil, the more lines of stats it has. So, like on this orange sigil that I have, it has, I think, nine, as nine or ten, ten different stats. So, I am going to definitely use fire fins on an orange or a yellow sigil. But if you get, if you do have a fire fin drop, and you only have a purple sigil go ahead go ahead and sell it on the stall 500k gold is very very nice all right so i'm gonna this is my old sigil and you can see the stats on it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so the orange arcasar sigil has 10 stats my old city of the plume yellow one only has seven stats so yeah the orange archosaur sigil is the best one i'm very lucky i have what well, let's look at the bonus stats it's hp viciousness pugnacity p crit resist and it has a m crit which doesn't help my tank okay just so i have nine nine stats that is useful for my character and i have a really nice physical attack percentage that's great for uh for my tank now remember when you change class the one one piece of gear one piece of gear does not change doesn't go from physical attack to m attack is your sigil so i'm very lucky that my sigil has mostly stats 
HP, uh, viciousness. These are PK stats, okay? So it's it does damage and is usable by any class. Okay, so this is great. I will be able to use this sigil for any class that comes out in the future. I will lose my physical attack if I change to a, M a magic class, but I do gain that M crit, so I will always have nine usable stats. I'm very happy. All right, so you check this out. I just equipped my old sigil, and it still says War Mind 200 plus 10. I just used two fire fence. So yeah, you can use fire fence and not worry that if you change your sigil or upgrade your sigil, you're going to be okay. All right, if this video helped you at all, please like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. I'll see you next time.